Just a quick video on the David Hay versus Arnold Jirajai fight. Uh, yes, it was a complete mismatch. That's what I predicted. I thought it was going to be a second round knockout. That's what I made in my prediction video. It would be a complete mismatch. It would be an easy fight for David Hay. Arnold Jirajai did a lot of things wrong in the fights building up to this. He kept his left hand too low. He uh, kind of... I wouldn't say he had a slow left jab, but when he brought it back, he brought it down to his left, just down to his left hand side of his waist, and he left himself open for a right hand counter. None of that really mattered in the fight. He went in, he got hit by a good punch from David Hay, and he just kept his guard up the whole time and just pretty much absorbed punishment. There was only a few actual parts of the fight where he actually threw anything back at all, and it was only single punches. He, he wasn't really doing anything to keep David Hay off him. I mean, that's that's the main thing. And when he did get hurt, he should have moved around the ring more or maybe tried to move around the ring more and just throw a jab just to keep David Hay off him. He didn't have the experience to do that. Uh, what my video is actually about is this the sheer hypocrisy and perception of boxers. The thing people need to realise with Arnold Jirajai is he was ranked 23 in the world. Now, Charles Martin, who Anthony Joshua just fought there, before he fought Glasgow, he was ranked something like 33, 34 in the world. And in the Glasgow fight, it was scored up until a draw, until Glasgow got injured. Uh, it was nothing Charles Martin did, and it was, he got injured, it was a scored a draw up until then, and that's how he got the belt. Now, since... Anthony Josh has actually beat Charles Martin, and by the way, Charles Martin lost in a similar fashion to Arnold Jirajai there. He wasn't doing very much back, he was on a defensive mode right from the start. As soon as he took a good punch, I mean, he wasn't really doing anything in that fight. And why I'm pointing out the hypocrisy is, these boxers, Jirajai and Charles Martin, are at the same level. They're rising prospects, not very experienced. And when you look at them in the ring, their ability is very similar. But when Anthony Joshua knocks out uh, Charles Martin, people are really talking about you know him fighting top level opponents and how great he is. You know I'm hearing people that uh, I really respect uh, saying how great Anthony Joshua is after he beat Charles Martin. It wasn't until he actually beat Charles Martin that people actually started to say this for some reason. And Charles Martin was in the same level as Arnold Jirajai. Now David Hay beats Arnold Jirajai in, to tell you the truth, a far more impressive fashion than Anthony Joshua beat Charles Martin. And people are uh, just ridiculing David Hay for this, taking this opponent. And it's on the same level as Charles Martin. Uh, it makes no sense at all. Now, what I will add, though, is since David Hay's comeback, yes, Anthony Joshua has fought a better opponent than Arnold Jirajai. He's fought Dylan White. Dylan White's uh, very confident, got a lot of heart, very courageous, and he can punch hard. He comes to fight, but what let him down was his defence and his stamina. And I would say Dylan White uh, is a better fighter than Arnold Jirajai, by far. But he... He was not even ranked, I think he was just actually ranked within the top 50 at the time. He's a rising prospect as well. And even though Dylan White's not at the top level yet, I think he can be in the future. He had he showed stamina problems in the ring with Anthony Joshua. And he showed his lack of defensive skill in the fight with Anthony Joshua. So yes, I would say Anthony Joshua had beat a better opponent than David Hay, uh, since David Hay's comeback, of course. But that's not when they started giving him credit. They started giving, when people started giving Anthony Joshua massive credit, it was after he beat Charles Martin. Uh, and I, I just think that's ridiculous. Uh, and I, I think it's ridiculous that he fought the same level as opponent as David Hay just fought, and David Hay's getting ridiculed for it, and Anthony Joshua's been made out to be uh, the greatest thing ever. I just think it's really strange. The what else did I want to say? Oh yeah, just today it may have happened yesterday. 
something really strange happened in the top 10 of Ring Magazine for the heavyweight division. And that was David Hay got put into the top 10. He was number 10 in the Ring Magazine by beating Mark DeMore. And Mark DeMore was ranked with outside the top 100 heavyweights in the world. And I thought it was really strange. And that just shows how people perceive things. You know, Ring Magazine's top 10 is built on perception. I agree with the top five heavyweights, and then after that, it's, it just it's just built on people's perception of who's actually the best. It's like this guy's knocked out these guys quite easily, so we, we'll rank him quite highly because people think he's really good. David Hay knocking out Mark DeMori was very expected. It's not the same as fighting somebody in the top 20, like uh, Derek Chisora, even, or Carlos Tackham, or anybody like that. So David Hay got put into the top 10 of the Ring magazine 100% based on perception because he beat up uh, Mark DeMori in the first round, which was expected anyway. Mark DeMori was someone that wasn't even ranked in the top 100. And Anthony Joshua as well. For some reason, he's ha ranked higher than Luis Ortiz. And Luis Ortiz has fought and beat two experienced good heavyweights. Granted, one of them was quite old, Tony Thompson. But beating Brian Jennings as well, I can't remember when he knocked out Brian Jennings, and I think it was a sixth round, but it was a, it was a good fight before then, it was a really good fight. And for some reason, Anthony Joshua, based 100% on the Charles Martin fight, fighting somebody on the same level as Arnold Jirajai, is ranked higher than Luis Ortiz, is just, it's beyond me, it's really strange. Uh, so that's all I really got to say about this fight. I'll, actually, I'll talk about Shannon Briggs' fight as well. Shannon Briggs... Well, he fought someone ranked 350th in the world. Like all the guys he's been fighting, ranked really high outside the top 100 as well. He knocks out in the first round. It's to be expected. It's not really shown us anything special about Shannon Briggs. We know very little about how good he is still. If you want a good indicator of how good Shannon Briggs is, you need to look, go back and look at the last two good real fights he was in. And that was against Vitaly Klitschko and Sultan and Bragamov. And he lost them both. And people don't even rate Sultan and Bragamov very highly, even though he was a highly skilled boxer for some reason. So, don't know how good Shannon Briggs is. He looked slow, but he's impressive with his power. Uh, he's dodging the punches very well. Oh, I'd give him that. He'll definitely give, him, he'll definitely give David Hay a better fight than... Arnold Jirajai and Mar de Mori, though. That's, that's granted, and the build-up to it will be amazing. I'm not going to give a prediction video right now about who I think will win that fight, but, uh, well, I think David Hay will win that fight, but uh, what round you? I'll do a prediction video on that later. 